as part of your portfolio, you will need to um, explain uh, the advantages of using a relational database. And a relational database is simply um, two or more tables that are connected together by relationships. So this is a relational database. We've got three tables and they've got relationships between them. And there's some advantages to structuring your database in this way. The other way of structuring your database would not have they have three different um, tables, but have all the information together in one table. And I've created an example here called table flat file, because it's the other type of database, a flat file database. And in here you can see we've got all our volunteers, but as I scroll across, you can see I've also got the venue information where that, that volunteer will be, and I've also got the week that they'll be at that venue. So um, that's a flat file database. Everything's in one place, which might seem uh, more logical, but it starts to get a bit big and a bit difficult to manage. But there are three main problems with this that are advantages to uh, doing it in a relational database rather than a flat file database. The three uh, main advantages of a relational database are um, it reduces a data redundancy, it reduces a uh, uh, data um, problems by making sure that your database's uh, integrity is maintained and it also makes sure that your database um, is consistent it maintains database consistency so it's those three things it eliminates data redundancy it maintains data integrity and it maintains data consistency and i'll try and explain uh, the difference between those now um, you can see here that because uh, we've added the venues into our flat file database then there are lots of repeats. So you can see that it's BMX track there, BMX track there, um, BMX track there, and also the locations repeated. Olympic Park, East London is repeated a lot um, in this database. And because of those repeats, we can talk about this data being redundant. Um, it's repeated. We don't need to store it uh, more than once in our database. It takes time to enter this data, and it also takes up more space in our database, so we don't want it. It's redundant data. It's repeated. If we think about our venues table in our relational database, each venue only appears once, so there's no redundant data. Yep, the aquatic center is just there once, um, and um, the Excel is just there once. So it reduces um, data redundancy. There's no repeats of data, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing uh, that it eliminates um, is problems with data consistency. Now, if um, I've got more than one person entering data in the database, uh, they can put EC in um, for Earl's Court, and that's correct, it's Earl's Court, but it's different from the entry here for Earl's Court. And that makes our data inconsistent um, because it means the same thing, but the computer will understand it as two separate things. So if we've got the same information in twice in our database in slightly different formats, even though it means the same thing, it means that our data is inconsistent. And if we have it in our uh, venues table in one place, in one place only, then our data will always be um, consistent. So two things so far. One is that relational database reduces data redundancy because nothing is repeated and then it also um, makes sure the data is consistent because it's only stored in one place. Uh, the other issue, I'll just put this I'll just put back in, the other issue we've got is um, maintaining data integrity, making sure there's no mistakes in our data. Um, for example here, if um, actually our BMX track isn't in the Olympic Park in East London, it's actually at Windsor, we can change that. The BMX track now has the correct location. The problem is down here, the BMX track is still at the Olympic Park in East London. And I've got to go through, I've got to make sure that I change all the BMX tracks to Windsor all the way down. And if I don't, if I miss one out, then my data is wrong. The integrity um, isn't maintained, so I've got mistakes in my data. So those are three main ways that a relational database um, has benefits over a flat file database. One, 
it reduces data redundancy. There's no repeats of data. Two, um, it maintains data consistency. So um, if I have an entry in more than once and they're in slightly differently, the data is not consistent. And lastly, if something changes and it's not updated all the way through the system, then data integrity is compromised. You'll have mistakes in your database. Now, those of you that are um, switched on will have realized that I've got a problem here in my venues table because I've actually got repeats in here. The Olympic Park East London um, is repeated. So I've got data redundancy issues. I don't need to have it in more than once. I've also could have um, data consistency issues. For example, if I change the aquatic centre to be at the Olympics Park OP, it's different from the Olympic Park East London there. It's the same place, but it's not consistent. I've got problems there. And again, if things were to change and I was to make a change in here, I'd have to make sure I change it in other places. And so my integrity of my database would be compromised. So to get around this, what I would do is I would create a new database, a new table, sorry, in my database called locations, which would have a location ID and then the name of the location. And in this table, all I would put in would be location ID. So I just store Olympic Park East London uh, in, in one place and one place only and just use the ID to link it to the right venue. So that's just a little bit of extension there, really. Um, but those are the main reasons why a relational database is much better than a flat file database.